what's up welcome to my channel make sure you hit that subscribe button if you have not and make sure you download the app unravel today on your phone so you can be a part of the unravel today community be a subscriber and listen to all of the podcasts because we put out new ones i put out new ones every single friday and i'm gonna go ahead and move my rosario from there because i'm mexican af and I have a rosary hanging from my rear view mirror. Listen, if you don't have a rosary hanging from your rear view mirror, who are you? Who takes care of you when you drive? Just kidding. Okay, so first things first. I have received a lot of questions. I have received a lot of love. I have received a lot of hate. I have received a lot of hate mail, a lot of comments regarding my surgery. And so there's one thing that I feel like I need to address before anything. And this is my disclaimer for this video. Me vale madre. Me vale madre. I do not care what you have to say about me. I just feel the need to let you know. Que me vale madre. So don't waste your time. This 2020, don't waste your time. Don't waste, don't waste my time. If you don't like something, keep it pushing, player. Keep it pushing. Uh, something else that I want to address is men should not be commenting on a woman's picture speaking about a woman's body. Like I can kind of take a little bit that girls are like, oh my God, you didn't work for it or you didn't go to the gym for it, blah, 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 blah. Look, girl, I've, I've, I've been to the gym. Here's the video of me when I would go to the gym. All right, guys, Friday workout done. Guys, isn't this dope? I look great, right? Okay, thanks. I was eating good too. I tried it. There was just certain areas that I didn't like, so I got it fixed. End of story. I know what it's like to work for my body. I know what it's like to eat right. I know what it's like to be healthy. I love that ish. I'm going to get back to it. So what I'm trying to say is when it's a girl telling me this, you and I can have that discussion. When it's a woman saying this to me after she's had kids and she can say, well, I'm kind of against it because of this or that. Full-blown discussion. Let's discuss and let's agree to disagree. But a man? <laughs> a man is gonna come and tell me how i should feel about my body look at puppy you don't birth children like for you you don't you don't i just o sea way primero like like you're a bitch that that's it like i have so much to say but i'm just not even gonna put my energy into it all i'm saying is that if you're a man thinking that you can come into my picture and comment about what you think about your opinion about women getting surgery está de más güey o sea tus comentarios me valen madre because you don't have babies you don't breastfeed you don't you you do none of that you and i we're not the same our bodies are not the same we don't look the same we don't feel so take a seat that goes to all the men who think that you can come and comment on my picture or any female's picture and talk about her body, period. Anyway, okay, mm, let's start. So one question that I got a couple of times was, ya no vas a tener bebés. Am I having any more kids? No, I am not gonna have any more kids. That Those are my plans. Those are my husband's plans. I think we're done, uh, but... Sometimes Diosito has different plans for us. And so our plan is to not have any more children. I wanted a girl and then I don't want a girl. And then sometimes I do and then sometimes I don't. But for now, I know for sure that we're good. He, His, mine, and ours. And I'm pretty good with three kids. Kids are expensive. They're a lot of work. And, uh, you know, did I say they were expensive? Yeah, because they're expensive. They're really, really expensive. <laughs> so 
ahorita, gracias a Dios, we're fine. Um, financially, and our kids, they love each other. It's just, everything's really good right now. And so, I, I am not the type, I have really hard pregnancies. And I don't like to complain because then it comes, oh, some people can't have babies and they wish it and you're here complaining. So I don't want to do that. But I am going to say I have really difficult pregnancies. They're, it's really hard on me. It's really hard on my body. And I'm kind of okay where I'm at. So as of now, no more babies. I'm good with the three of my children that I have. Um... How much was my surgery? I got this question so many times. And I feel bad because I can't answer that because every surgery is different. Um, entonces, when I say I could give you an estimate, I could say $20,000, I could say $30,000. But then that would just, te va a desanimar. You know, like, you're going to be like, well, I can't afford $50,000. I can. I'm not saying that's how much it was. I'm just saying that... I don't want to give you a number because it would be it would be off than your number, Kisa. I could tell you this much. I know that at Beverly Hills Physicians, they have a $3,999 breast augmentation saline implants. So it's $4,000 for saline breast um, augmentation. I know that right now they're giving $1,000 off in the... Um, in any procedure that you want so i know they have sales going on right now and everything's just different it just depends on what you want i didn't even know how much my stuff was going to be until i walked in i had my free consultation you call you make your appointment it's completely free and you tell the doctor you know what dude i don't like this i don't like that my lonja here my panza here when i what can we do Um, I did the same thing. I wanted I, I wanted a nose job. And I was like, look, I, I don't like this bump here and this. And he was like, okay, but in order to take this off, we have to do this and this. And I was like, oh, no, I don't want to change my nose. And so then we're like, okay, then I can't get a nose job. And the only way I would have figured that out is by getting a consultation. So I would definitely recommend that you take the time. They're open Saturdays. Um, and you make a consultation. Seriously, it's it's free. And all you have to do is find an hour out of your day or whatever to go. Take a friend with you if you feel scared or, you know, like you just go and ask all of the questions that you want to ask. Oh, do I need a, a tummy tuck or a lipo? How much is it going to be? How long am I going to be off of work? All of these questions that are doctor related, they can answer them for you completely free. And I really encourage you to call them and make your appointment or wherever it is that you want to get your surgery done. With that said my surgery what did i get done everybody wants to know what did i do okay so um i had breast implants prior and after having ivan which is my younger son two years ago um i breastfed they got really big and they got like oh, like super shred you know you know what i'm talking about okay entonces i had my implants and then they were like all sad and then i felt like my implants were too big so what i did this time was i got a breast reduction i took those implants out and i put new ones in but smaller um what what size was i i think i was like a 375 cc and now i'm a 345 i think honestly i don't even know but i know that i'm smaller for sure um and i got a boob lift So, you know, because your skin is, they're sad. They're like sad. So we lifted them up and we put smaller implants um, on them. I also got lipo in my tummy done. Like right here, that little pouch, right? Where your belly button is, that like little pancita. I got them to take that out. And whatever was left, they tried to kind of shape me, you know, a little bit. How long is recovery time so it takes about four weeks five weeks but i'm already at work i'm already everything's fine only i feel it and i feel a little swollen i'm also getting my massages done so that definitely helps with your recovery time pero más o menos it's it's to go back to work i want to say a week and a half or two weeks to feel completely fine i would say four weeks five weeks six weeks the most but everybody's different uh they also asked me pain From one to 10, how much was my pain? Um, this is hard. So the first day I felt a, a six. 
And then every day it started going down, 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 down. It's not painful. It's uncomfortable. I had a baby with no epidural. To me, I feel like I'm really good at pain. Like it, everyone's different. I think I have a high tolerance for pain, but it was uncomfortable. It was extremely uncomfortable the first couple of days and you f don't feel like yourself. You're wearing a faja, you're wearing all of these things. So I would say discomfort level, seven. Pain level, five, six. Um, so it's not that bad and they give you medication. So it really, it's, it's not that bad. What inspired me to do this? Okay, again, um, my boobs were not looking the same. They didn't feel the same. I didn't like them. And I felt like I just needed to get it addressed. That way I could feel better. That way I could look better and be more confident. And that's really basically what inspired me. I love myself so much that I couldn't stand not being happy with certain, is that better? No, with certain areas of my body. And so I like feeling good. I like, I love seeing myself naked. I love walking around in a bathing suit. I love feeling good in clothes. And this is when I was feeling a little bit like, oh, you know, my boobs look like this or my pancitas like this. I'm working really hard and it's not, you know. So I, that's what inspired me. I wanted to love myself more, like more. I love myself, but I wanted to feel better um, about that situation. What did my husband say? My husband is excited. He was very nervous for me, but he was very excited and very supportive. This is why I get really like defensive when it comes to men coming on my page and commenting because listen, the only two men that I can possibly care about what they have to say about the ish I'm doing to my, myself and my body is my dad and my husband. I spoke to both. They were both very excited for me and were very supportive. So everybody else, I'm sorry to break it to you. Me vale madre. Um, my mom was very supportive. My mom helped me. She took care of me. Um, even my husband's family and everybody around me was just super supportive, super loving, super caring. And so um, that's basically all that matters that I have the support and the love to be myself. Y me echan porras, you know, like you go girl, do what you got to do. Today I ran into this beautiful girl at Porto's and she told me that she's had surgery done and that she's dealt with a lot of shame and a lot of embarrassment and that my podcast and my videos have really helped her out. And that honestly made me feel so good and so happy because I feel like that's why I'm here to help you deal with whatever it is that you're dealing with or you know to let you know that you're not alone we're all the same at the end of the day we all cry we're all insecure about certain things we're all unhappy with certain things we all we're the same and so it's sad when I see people comment and be so closed-minded so mean so disrespectful so again I just want you to know that women who get surgery are not necessarily insecure. Women that get surgery really love themselves and they love themselves so much that they want to address certain things that they're not happy with. Some may be insecure. I, I can't speak for them. Um, I can speak for the ones who really fuck with themselves like and love themselves and I know la ceja no me quedo bien let me fix it or I no me you know like I just take care of yourself love yourself appreciate yourself because at the end of the day that's all you have is you of course you have your family of course you have your children of course you have but remember when the plane is falling it's about to crash you got to put your own air mask in order to put someone else's. So, amiga, if you're not happy with your body, if you're not happy with your life, if you're not happy with your job, if you're not happy with the way you look, if you're not happy in the relationship you're in, you need to fix it because nobody's going to come and fix it for you. And I'm not saying go fix it, pay. I'm saying if, if going to the gym makes you feel better, then mama, go. If going to eating better, 
eat better, if being in a different relationship, breaking up, working it out, whatever it is, I just want to remind you that there is not one answer or there's not one way to do things right. We're all different. We should all appreciate each other. We should all love each other and support each other. No se piensa, no. Thank you so much for being a part of this. I'm so excited. I'm not even tired yet of talking about my surgery. Somebody said, so what's going on with Melissa besides her surgery? And it's like, well, a lot of things. My podcast, my job, my kids. I'm going back to school. Um, and I'll definitely make a podcast uh, and an episode about that when it happens. But um, right now, really, I seeing the response that this has gotten, I'm really pushing to help and to motivate and to cheer other girls on. Bitch, you want to get a bigger butt? Go! Get a bigger butt. Call Beverly Hills Physicians. Let them know I sent you. And you walk around with your big old booty, happy and proud. Pfft, don't let anybody tell you que no puedes. That's it. That's all I have to say. <laughs> I love you guys very much. Uh, if you still have any more questions, comment down below. The next video that I make is definitely tips that I have as I'm going through the surgery. I'm learning a lot and I'm finding things out that I feel like I should have known since the beginning. So I'm definitely going to make that video next. Mm. I love you. I hope you guys have a great day. Remember, tomorrow, Friday, and every Friday, we get new podcasts on Unravel today. So not only do I do radio, I do my own podcast. So make sure to download on your phone right now. When we're done, you go to your app store, Google, uh, look up Unravel today, download the app. There's some free po There's some free episodes, and then you subscribe for the other ones. I love you so much, and I will see you here next Thursday. Bye.